Let's explain orbits. We had all seen the videos from the International Space Station where objects and people seem to float in an enclosed environment. We had even seen the strange behavior of liquid water in this same environment. So is there gravity in space? According to Newton's universal law of gravity, there is. So how do we create an orbit? From our everyday experience, we know that gravity makes things fall down to the ground. This is the same for any object regardless of its mass. If we give our object a faster initial horizontal speed, inertia will carry it farther, but still, within the same amount of time, it will fall to the ground. However, at very large distances, we start to notice the curvature of the surface of the Earth. This means that while our projectile is still pulled the same way by gravity and falls towards the surface, the surface underneath starts to curve out from underneath. Thus, it will take longer for the projectile to hit the ground. At very large distances and high speeds, we need to consider the Earth to be a round sphere. The projectile keeps being pulled by gravity, but the ground keeps curving out from underneath. As the projectile goes around the Earth, the direction of gravity still points towards the center, pulling the projectile towards it. What keeps the projectile moving forward parallel to the ground is just its inertia. For this to be useful, there needs to be no air resistance. Thus, the real reason we have satellites orbiting in space is not to get away from gravity, but rather to get away from air resistance. Once in space, the projectile is carried parallel to the surface by inertia and kept in a circular orbit by gravity.
Applying this physical explanation, now we see why it is a myth that there is no gravity in space. If there was no gravity, then a projectile shot parallel to the ground will just continue in a straight line and escape to infinity. Alternately, without a horizontal velocity, no matter the altitude, the projectile will be pulled back towards the surface by gravity. To have a proper orbit, you need both the horizontal velocity and gravity. So again, then, why do astronauts and objects seem to float inside the International Space Station? The space station is only a few hundred kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Hence, the gravitational pull on it must still be quite high according to the universal law of gravity. The answer is that both the space station and the astronaut inside are being pulled by gravity and are in free fall. Because they are in free fall at the same rate, they don't move relative to each other, and hence the appearance of floating. For further explanation of this phenomenon, as well as other popular questions, you are encouraged to visit NASA's own website.